Good evening, and welcome to the ribbon cutting and grand opening of Fruitport High School. At the groundbreaking, I called out a special group of people and reminded them that as Fruitport grads, now is the time to do your best work for your alumni. And they have. It touches my heart and doubly special that four of them I have known since they were young and they have been friends with my three children. A group of dedicated parents and community members formed Yes for Fruitport's Future. That group of great people overcame tremendous odds to get the bond pa issue passed, which resulted in this beautiful building. One aspect of this project that is especially special is the fact that, as Betty said, the chief architect, Matt Slagle from Tower Pinkster, designed the building. The site superintendent, Gary Peasley from OAK, who built this building, Board President Dave Hazekamp, who led the board through this process, the Operations Director, John Winskis, who ensured that this project met our needs, and the High School Building Principal, Lauren Chesney, and Assistant High School Principal, Rob Rogers, who successfully led staff and students through the disruption of the building project, were all Fruitport graduates. In fact, of our leadership team who built this school, I was about the only one who was not a Fruitport grad. For me, throughout this whole process, Today was the future that I had in my mind. And it took something to kind of keep us going. And for me, it was a moment that I had in my mind um, where I could be with my son looking up at this building and just say, Brian, Daddy did that work for you. And so this beautiful building, along with the heart of the school, is going to ensure that all of our kids, all of them, have the best opportunity to make sure that they begin their lives as close to the starting line of life as possible. This building is certainly a game changer for the community. But again, it's just a building. What really happens and what you saw discussing the alumni and the talent that made this happen is what happens inside that school. But how many students or young people are out here in the crowd and actually go to school here? What I want you to do, go home tonight and say thank you to mom and dad, thank you to your neighbors, thank you for everybody that voted and worked hard on this project. They did that for you. Things the Fruitport Schools Board of Education would like to say thank you to J.B. Muhlenberg and Sean Riley and all the YES team members for heading up the Vote YES for Fruitport campaign and supporting this dream for our community. What we'd like to do first is extend a sincere appreciation to all of our parents and families. We would like to express our gratitude to the greater Fruitport community also. We would also like to extend a heartfelt thank you to our Fruitport faculty and staff. As a team, they have brought this new learning environment to life. We would like to especially thank Bob Smoniak, for our former superintendent, for and also recognize and thank John Wiskus, our facilities director, for his leadership, first-hand building knowledge that helped guide his team. At this time, we're going to proceed with the ribbon cutting ceremony.